Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Ooh, you're a cute critter. No. No, it's not. <laughs> what the f***? Maximus back with 31 horror toys in 31 days and today we're taking a look at something from Critters. It's the Crite from Monstars. Now this is the New York Comic Con 2017 exclusive uh, Crite vinyl figure. This is the version 2. The first one was kind of white and gray. This one just looks more like they did in the movie I think. Uh, then the first one did. When I think of the Critters, this is the one I'm thinking of. And, uh, oh, the detail on this. Now, I got this from amucktime.com. I believe they still have a few because they had a booth at uh, Comic-Con out in New York. And they were the ones that were selling the exclusives, so go check them out. Uh, so, I think that it's going to be on mass retail come November, is what they said. But, uh, check out their website for sure. It's definitely pretty cool, so let's check out the packaging. So here we have the critter in package, and uh, I really like it. It's got the, the critter at the top looking really cool. It's got the logo down there, kind of a sunset look on the bottom. Uh, same look on the side here, looking really nice. And then we have the full critter up there. Uh, bottom of the package, it says Critters and Monstar. And then back of the package, it shows all kinds of critters there. So definitely a nice uh, box set here. I'm definitely digging this. Very cool. It says, they eat so fast you won't have time to scream. So they're like fuzzball piranhas from space. Very cool. Definitely digging that. And it says critters right there. Um, kind of, I think that's from the movie poster maybe. Um, maybe the DVD jacket or video jacket from back in the day. And it says critters there. And we have a side view of the critter. And all that kind of good stuff. There he is, looking all crittery. So yeah, definitely pretty darn cool. So that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get the Krite out of box and see what we think. So here we have the Krite out of the package. And I got to say, this thing is gorgeous. <laughs> I love it. Um, it's got uh, the actual fuzz, the hair. Um, the detail on it is great, it's sculpted, it's painted well. It is a vinyl figure, so there is no articulation to it at all, uh, which is okay. I knew that's what I was getting, and uh, I mean, it just looks good. If you're looking for horror movie props to put up on the shelf, I think this definitely takes the cake. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, I love the sculpt. The paintwork is amazing. I think they really capture the look, all the paint in the teeth. Um, around the lips, the eyes, uh, really glossy eyes, all that uh, dry brushing and uh, paint wash in there just looks fantastic. The hair, very well done. Um, I mean, it's fuzz all the way around. Um, I mean, it looks like the critters. Uh, the only other ones I can think of, they, they had more of a grayish kind of fur. And uh, I can't remember which movie. I want to say that was the second one, maybe. Uh, but this definitely looks like a critter, and it's a movie I'd like to see reboot. I don't know. But uh, they definitely captured it, and I'm in love. So take a look at the bottom half of the figure, and again, detail throughout. Uh, the paint on the fingernails and uh, the belly, all the different colors we got going on there. The sculpt work looks really nice. All the wrinkles and dry brushing, just amazing looking. And then again, we've got the fur that continues all the way down. I wish he could roll up into a ball like they do in the movies. I think that would be really, really cool. But just for something that sits up on the shelf, this is definitely cool. This is something you could put up there with like gremlins. And uh, I wish we had some new ghoulies. Uh, that would be pretty fun. Maybe that would be the next thing Monstars does. But yeah, the detail on this vinyl figure is phenomenal. I'd love to see them do an action figure. For comparison, here we have the Krite from Critters next to another vinyl figure. And it's Oogie Boogie from A Nightmare Before Christmas. Vinmates, and they're about the same in height. Um, I will say this one's a lot heavier than this one, but the volume-wise, this is definitely a lot bigger. Um, Detail-wise, way, way better. 
So is the Crite from Critters by Monstars something that you want in your horror movie collection? I'm going to say yes. Now you can get the original Critter, it's going anywhere from about $20 to $40 I think. Um, at the time of the recording, this is a New York Comic Con exclusive version 2, so the only place to get it at the moment is to go to amucktime.com. Uh, they still have them from the Comic Con this year for sale on their website, uh, which is where I got it. I want to say it was $29.99 uh, with free shipping, so I, I didn't think that was a bad price for a Comic Con exclusive. Um, if you wait until November, it's supposed to go on sale nationwide. Definitely like it if you're into vinyl figures and into your horror movies. This is something to pick up. So there it is, the Krite from Critters for 31 horror toys in 31 days. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Like us on Facebook and look for more videos in the future.